Hey guys, it's your girl Seriously Sharika, and today I've got a special guest, my niece, Bye. Okay, we are going to be cooking dinner, and I would like to do garlic honey chicken. Uh, we're going to be making it in a crock pot, and uh, first we're going to show you the ingredients. First we need ketchup, which I already have. We need oregano. I also bought things I didn't need from the store. We need soy sauce. We need honey. We need chicken thighs. With the skin on them for some crisp. We need minced garlic. Lastly, and finally, we need some rice, which hold on. Rice. Yeah. First thing we're going to do is wash our hands. Your hand. We did put soap on them. We have a soap uh, dispenser on our face. Dry my hands with paper towel. All right, next we're going to clean the chicken. I'm going to do that off camera. Now that I have this, uh, the meat rinsed off, you take the chicken and set it inside of the crock pot like so. Okay, so after rinsing my hands again, I'm going, the recipe that I got called for one third cup of honey, one fourth a uh, cup of soy sauce, one fourth cup of ketchup, um, one teaspoon of minced garlic and one teaspoon of oregano leaves. I'm going to double everything. Well, actually more than double because I like my food a little saucy. I'm going to use this whole eight ounce container of honey. Bonnie, I'll let you do the honors of pouring Let's that go. in there. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Make sure you coat everything. There you go. Get it all over everywhere. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this bag right here for trash. Just keep holding it upside down while I move on to the next thing. Now they said to use one teaspoon or tablespoon of uh, minced garlic. Excuse me, Bubba. Let me get a spoon. I'm actually going to use one metal serving spoon of it. Just because, you know, same thing with the oregano. It just, you know, makes it easier. Since I'm using more chicken than they use. Okay. It looks good. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the half a cup of soy sauce. Put that in the trash one. We're gonna call this the ghetto ratchet kitchen because <laughs> <laughs> we are ghetto ratchet. <laughs> there we go. And then 
the ketchup. And the ketchup. Gotta shake it up so we don't get the water stuff. We're gonna use half a cup of ketchup. How do you measure it? This thing that I'm holding is a half a cup. Oh. And now I'm gonna add just some other regular seasonings such as where is it at? Such as this fat boy sweet rub. Entertainment is everything. Yes it is. Fat boy sweet rub. Just cause I know that they be liking food. Like they like it. I'm trying to make it with a lot of seasonings for my family. So we're gonna kinda make sure everything is submerged. Make sure everything's submerged. I don't smell enough honey. So for that, Bonnie, close everything for me. I'm gonna see if we got any more honey in the cabinet. Hmm. Everything. I'm gonna see if we have any more. Put the top on the pot. Huh? Put the top on the pot. Uh, sure. I was actually talking about like the garlic and stuff. Oh. I know we have honey. I just don't know where it is. Honey, where are you? Well. So we're just gonna go with what we got. Look at the honeys. Looks really good. Yeah. Now it says to cook it for four hours, but I'm gonna do a little twist. I'm gonna cook this for four hours on high. I don't know why I held it like that. On high, I'm gonna cook this for four hours. And then I'm gonna take that chicken out of there, just the chicken, leaving the sauce, cause you use that to season the rice. I'm gonna take the chicken out of here after four hours. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer to crisp that skin up so it'll have a crunch. All right, we'll be back in about three Five hours. Five hours later. Right. We'll be back in about three hours and then we'll make the rice and the broccoli. All right guys, I am back. I am now about to take this chicken out of the air fryer, excuse me, of the crock pot put it in the air fryer and then make the rice and broccoli. I'm looking for a tong or the tongs. I don't want to use the big um, barbecue ones. Where are the regular tongs? What, the, what is going on here? Aha. Let's rinse those off. Put all of this chicken in the air fryer. All of it's not gonna fit at one time. So that slightly sucks. I'll be back. Okay, so they're in the air fryer. I'm going to put those in there for 10 minutes. And like I said earlier, I feel like it did not have enough honey. So I sent my daughter to the store to get some more honey. And I'm not sure. Hold on. If you can see that, that is going to be what I put on top of my rice. But for now, it's just holding the other chicken. It smells amazing. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I just need to feel like a little more honey. And obviously I know the chicken's not done, which is why it's in the air fryer for 10 minutes. Now let me start the rice. I actually forgot that we had some rice made the other day, so I am not gonna make any rice. I'm just going to put it in the microwave to warm up because I do, 
I want to be able to sit for dinner tonight. I've got this glass bowl and I'm going to put the rice in it. Warm it. Actually, I'm going to wait about five minutes to warm it up. And then I'm going to actually let me start the broccoli now. Okay, I am going to be sauteing the broccoli in a wok. Um, since this is not really a tutorial, this is just kind of a get ready with me dinner style. <laughs> I'll be back after that's done. I'm really just going to put some vegetable oil in there, a little salt and pepper, not a lot of stuff because I just kind of want them to cook. Change your mind, I'm going to add a little bit of corn. And now that I have it in there, I'm going to take uh, two of these serving spoons full of the, um, actually, maybe more like four, of these serving spoons full of the juice from the chicken I'm cooking or have cooked before I put this in the microwave, just so it can have a little bit of moisture. But also not get soggy. Be right back. I can't fit everything in the air fryer, I'm gonna go ahead and get these last few remaining pieces and put them in the oven. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do all of it in the oven as well. I know that the other chicken Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is take this chicken, put it back in the crock pot, take that chicken out since it should be just about done. Then put that in the crock pot and that other chicken in this container. That's exactly what I did. I'm switching it over now. Guys, here is the chicken after going in the oven for a couple minutes. You hear my kids arguing in the background, even though I asked them to be quiet because I knew they knew I was going to be recording this, but they don't listen. And then here is the broccoli and the corn. The only thing is, I the rice I use leftover rice. I'm not a fan of it, but it will work because I still have the juices from that to go in it, and it will be delicious. 